buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. Alrighty, so we're back for one short, not really short, but final tier list uh, on the best cards, and uh, I've done it again, punished myself into putting up a crazy. 150 cards and do another John tier list for all of you guys so we're gonna get back at it and I'm gonna try to do it in the short form uh, way as much as possible to get through this uh, fast because it is a lot of cards so uh, bear with me if we skip over most of this worst of the best tier but either way uh, we'll get it started by showing you everybody in the uh, first part of the worst of the best tier um, boom right here Amari Stoudemire who yeah is decent but pretty bad jumper and defender just not really a card that I'm too excited about using um, Amari can be fun if you know how to use it but that jumper just eh you know whatever uh, Alvin Adams just kind of underwhelming compared to previous years usually he has just some crazy badges and stats but this year he's just at least in my opinion a meh card um, Allen Iverson is a super fun guy to go ahead and use the only problem with Allen Iverson despite his amazing dribbling and defense is just that he's way too undersized and the jumper on the normal timing is just kind of cooked uh, Allen Houston, just too much of a cone. I don't love that round and jumper um, on normal. And that um, base dribble style is just, again, meh to me. Uh, Thon Maker, great offensive kind of guy, but not really giving you anything too much when it comes to defense. Uh, just okay as a center. Sekou Demboya, the Aaron Gordon jumper right now, just on that normal timing is way too slow. We'll have uh, one more card, I think, later on in the tier list that we'll be talking about with that. Uh, but is overall for a Ruby a pretty damn good, versatile guy. Uh, PJ Brown, just kind of underwhelming in general, can be a good back to the basket bid with a midi, but there's a lot of cards like that, so he's just down here. Uh, Mike Conley, jump shot 22 in the normal timing, does have the quick dribble style, it can be fun, but just like AI, just a little bit too undersized for um, roles right now. Uh, next up is Mark Price, and if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know why I put Mark Price even on the tier list, but once I had him on here, I decided to rank him. Um, can't dunk. Decent jumper, although it's on the normal timing, can't really speed burst like the craziest, and just, I don't know, just all around an average card, and he's six foot, so no thank you. Uh, Lou Williams is up next, and he's actually a really fun card, but the only problem with Lou Williams is that just his jumper's too slow, um, it's really just too baited. Um, he does have a good dribble style, good dribbling animations, it's just good three-point shooting, but that jumper, being as baited as it is, I just can't put him any higher. Kyle Lowry, slow jumper on the normal timing, the base dribble style, and just all around clunky card, I wish. You know, the king of the Badonka Donk was better in 2K, but he's just, you know, he ain't it. Um, and last but not least for this page is uh, Josh Hart, who I just think all around is underwhelming. Kind of a slow jumper that's easy to contest because it's on my normal timing. Not great all around. I just, nah, nah, nah. Yo, Josh Hart just didn't really excite me for a uh, Valentine's Day card. And then we only have a few more on this page where we have Jerry West, who I think is good, has a nice jumper. The fundamental, or the Jerry West dribble style I've heard is very similar to fundamental. So, you know, it's eh. Um, the next one is Jerome Kersey, who I think is actually pretty good, but Jerome Kersey just has his jump shot seven on the normal timing, and I just think it's way too easy to contest. Um, he has, you know, good all-around ability, but I just wish his jump was a bit better. Dirk Nowitzki, speaking of easy-to-contest jumpers, Dirk is like the king of it. Just can't get open um, with that three-point shot. just doesn't really have the greatest of defense. Darian Williams, nice jump shot, 38, but has that base dribble style. Same thing with Baron Davis, where you just can't capitalize on it. Baron does have the Damian Lillard jumper on quick, so I could have put him in pretty damn solid, but I just don't think at this point you should be using your tokens on Baron Davis. You should be saving him for the next season, or even just getting like Sidney Moncrief out of the exchange. Baron's just not worth the bang for your buck. And uh, I didn't actually put a lot of worse to the best on this tier list, but we have three full pages of um, the rest of them, so beware. Anyway, we'll start off with our still decent tier where we can get it cracking with Bailey Owl. Great uh, Trey Burke jump shot guy with the uh, shifty dribble style, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but Bailey Owl's just missing a lot of badges off the rip that don't really allow him to be cr like crazy top of the tier kind of guy. But still can be pretty fun if you want to clone up DeMar DeRozan without being um, insane. Anthony Edwards is up next. A pretty good jump shot 80 kind of guy. Uh, but... With Anthony Edwards, I just feel like he's always a little bit clunky. I do think eventually when we get an Ant Edwards with, you know, the jumper on quick, you know, shifty or a quick dribble style, he's going to be crazy. But right now, he's just a good slasher, good all-around all offensive guy who just doesn't play great. So defense. Speaking of no defense, we have Tyler Hero, who, honestly, Trey, Brick jump, or Trey Young jumper on quick, shifty dribble style, absolute bucket getter. Just one of the biggest non-factors on defense I've ever played with. Trey Young, again, Trey Young jumper on quick is absolutely amazing. Good defense, but has that uh, slasher dribble style, and I just think... You know, obviously, with the amount of PGs that we have, he's just kind of slowly fell, fall down the list. Uh, Tony Kukoc, nice little stretch big with that Brooke Lopez jumper. Going to be a great shooter. He can finish a little bit, too. Can play, make a bit, can play some defense. Just a jack-of-all-trades kind of guy, and he feels nice. 
Uh, Steve Smith, pretty damn good card every single year. They just love the juice of Steve Smith, but he's always one of those guys who is going to be crazy on the offensive end. And that's kind of where he meets his match. But this year he does have, you know, Clamps Menace and Pick Dodger. Yeah, which is cool, but that base dribble style. So even though he's got jump shot 22 on quick, he's still a bit of a cone and can't really move for his own. Uh, Sadiq Bey is just one of those guys who you want to have because he's a good jack-of-all-trades kind of guy. He's got a good jumper. His defense is great. His playmaking is good. He can shoot. He can playmake, and he can finish. Um, he's just not really going to be doing anything on his own, but he's just a great, versatile guy to have in there. He's small forward. Uh, next is Precious the Chua. He's a decent, you know, all-around center. I'm not going to say he's, you know, the best of the best, but he's, you know, just good at everything with an okay jumper. Uh, next is Mike Miller, jump shot 22 on the normal timing, he's got the quick dribble style and it's actually pretty nice. I will say though, the one thing about Mike Miller is he's supposed to be, you know, this super glitched out card. I just never really felt like it. He was fun in the gameplays that I used, but wasn't, you know, top tier, top tier. Uh, Mikhail Bridge is up next, who I honestly, I'm, I'm fighting for my life to keep him up here in this uh, higher than the worst of the best. Uh, Mikhail Bridge is jump shot 80, one of the best defenders I've used in the game. I cannot wait until we get a diamond, a pink diamond, something like that uh, to get an upgrade because him's 7-2 wingspan with all of him interceptors is one of the cheesiest things I've ever used. Uh, Michael Jordan is great. He's got the MJ jumper, got that slasher dribble style. He's a good slasher, good defender. Uh, actually a decent shooter for an MJ card, just nothing crazy. Um, and last but not least for this page, Kevin Porter Jr. has got jump shot 49, I think, on quick, I think. But terrible dribble style, and as a guard, you kind of need it. He can be a pretty good cone that can, you know, 3 and D it a bit. Kind, actually, not 3 and D it, just 3 point shoot it. Uh, but just has pretty bad defense, but he can be fun because jump shot 49, really easy to time jumper. Uh, next up for our pretty damn solid uh, list or tier on this side of the page, we are starting with, oops, I forgot to include Kevin Love. Uh, Kevin Love, pretty decent guy. I love his jumper. You know, jump shot uh, Kevin Love. This, I was going to say like it was a number. It's really good. And he got that athletic, you know, bit to him so he can talk to everybody. The only problem with Love, he's not really rebounding and he's not really playing too, or he's going to rebound, but he's not going to play too crazy a deep match. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga, same thing, same kind of story with, actually, Jonathan Kaminga and uh, Deshaun Tate, where they just play like Sadiq Bay, where they're just really good at everything, they have really good defense, they can finish a bit, they can shoot with some decent jumpers, they're just not going to be like the craziest of cards out on their court, they're just going to be really damn good. Uh, Gus Williams is up next, I think he's kind of like a Kyrie Irving clone with a jumper on normal, um, and that just doesn't really excite me. Gilbert Arenas is one of the worst jumpers in the game, although he can be a decent card. I don't think he's down here in worst of the best, uh, but the jumper is really baited, and you really have to be careful with how you take it, because if you aren't, they're going to cook you. Uh, Gary Payton the second is a great defensive guy that can play make and even dunk a bit. The only problem with him is that he doesn't come with all the, you know, shooting badges that you would want on him, so I had to knock him down to tier. But if you do batch him up, this Gary Payton could be a super nice free card for you. Uh, Don Mitchell up next. I just think jump shot four is a bit too slow on that normal timing. Now we're getting a lot of cards with quick jumpers, you know, better dribble styles and things like that. I um, mean, I think Mitchell at his size is just a bit too far down there. Uh, DeJounte Murray's up next, and I love DeJounte Murray cards, but the only problem with DeJounte is that his jumper is just a little bit too slow and a little bit too baited, and they kind of cooked his interior defense, so he doesn't feel as good of a defender as he should be, but still is a good slasher, um, and still is really good on the perimeter, just as soon as you get him inside, he's a bit of a pop. Uh, Jimmy Lin's up next, and I had to move Jay Lin down, because he does have an amazing dribbling animations, he's an awesome slasher, and his defense is pretty damn good, but... Jump shot 40 on that normal timing is just way, way, way too easy to contest. I just think it holds back Lynn just way too much. Uh, Jimmy Butler, just a jump shot 22 combo that has a great defense. <laughs> Essentially that. Uh, Dan Issel, uh, I kind of view him pretty even with Kevin Love. You could move him up if you wanted to. I just didn't think it was that big of a deal. They're both, you know, Kevin Love jump uh, jump shot guys. Love is a better finisher, I think, and Issel's a better defender, so, you know, toss it up. Uh, Kobe White is up next, the wonderful guy out there. And Kobe White is fun. Uh, jump shot 80 on the normal timing and can play make essentially think of Cade Cunningham just a little bit shorter and a slightly slower jumper and you got Kobe White that's really it um, and then we have a few more here in the still decent tier with Chris Paul Bob Sura Bob McAdoo and Bill Russell Chris Paul is short but can do actually everything on the court Bob Sura has jump shot 38 on the normal timing sadly but has great dribbling animations an awesome defender and at six for five is a great PG Bob McAdoo is kind of like that Giannis role without shooting has everything else but shooting um, and is really fast as a power forward center uh, but just doesn't really excite me too much and Bill Russell is an absolutely insane defender but the jumper is just way too big to put him any higher up on the list boom look at that two tiers cranking through them we're having a good time all right starting off the baby demon tier we got some really good cards in here so this one's gonna be tough but Antoine Jameson Brooke Lopez base and just an all-around crazy good card I kind of think of Antoine Jameson this year like that LeBron James role where he's really good at everything but just has the Brooke Lopez base 
Uh, Andre Iguodala is an amazing, you know, just defensive card who can still slash really well and has a good jumper to spread it out to the three-point line. Just has that slash and dribble style, so it won't be the craziest of cards, but it's still damn good. Uh, so Junior Zogalsic has one main flaw. He has a great jumper on the quick timing. He's super tall. He's great defensively. He's good in the post, and he can spray it from three, but he has like a 60 speed, which is just way too slow for 2K at this point. Uh, Will Chamberlain is a, and you know what, I'll group them together. Will Chamberlain and Shaquille O'Neal are two great cards because they both have eh jumpers, but are insane defensively, insane to the post, and insane finishing, and even have a bit of a midi. They just aren't going to be shooting, and I just think that we have so many centers that are just personally a bit better than them. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, I wish they would have gave him his jumper on quick. If they did, he would be one of the best point guards in the game. But without it, it's still an all-around good defender, really good playmaker, like really good playmaker. He can still slash, it can still shoot, but that Gordon jumper on the normal is just a bit bait. Uh, next up is Tracy McGrady, who again, I just think T-Mac hasn't been as OP as he could be. Um, good trade break base, slasher dribble style, he's a good defender, he's a good shooter, he's a great cone. I just don't think he's, you know, next level yet. Uh, next is Shreef Abdul-Rahim, who has got jump shot 34, I think, on quick, and it's just an insanely good post guy and finisher that can still shoot a bit and play really good defense, but honestly, if you are somebody who likes to play in the post, this Shreef Abdul-Rahim can be one of the most fun cards to use in the game. I'm not even kidding. Uh, next, Shea Gilgis Alexander has a pretty decent jumper. Uh, I think it's similar to that of like DeJounte Murray, although it's on that normal timing, so it is a bit slow. But it's a six foot six point guard that can play make insanely well, get to the basket, can still shoot if he's wide open, and has good defense. So, still an absolute dub. Uh, next is my man Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka, probably one of my favorite cards in the game. At jump shot 26 is just one of the best jumpers, in my opinion, in the game, and is one of the best defenders I've met at the rim. Just an all around great 3 and D power forward center. Uh, next, Russell Westbrook, just a barrel down to the paint, cheese up a little bit on the dribble moves, but have an absolutely beta jumper, and that's Westbrook out there. I just don't think, I think he's a good card, and people kind of think that because I'm putting him in the middle, he's like horrible, but he's actually a really good PG. I just don't think he's as good as some of the best of the best. Uh, Robert Parrish is up next, just a great all-around card who only has a 73-point shot, but does have a shot shot 14 on the uh, quick timing, which I do love, is that, you know, Bob Pettit jumper. Um, I think some people are probably going to sleep on Parrish, as they usually do. Um, it's just not really a hyped up name, but a seven foot center power forward with a seven four wingspan that can play crazy good in the post, lock it up on defense, and has a Hall of Fame quick first step and downhill with an 86 speed. That's a W in my book. Um, next up in the Baby Demon on the next page, we have again some crazy good names starting off with Penny Hardaway. Penny just has jump shot 10, and it's one of the slower jumpers in the game, one of the more easier beta jumpers in the game. But I will say, when it comes to cheesy playmaking with great animations and getting to the damn basket, Penny is still one of the best in the game. Uh, next up is Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap is literally just like the Sharif Abdul Rahim with everything that you lose in post game, you get in defense with Paul Millsap. Essentially it. Uh, next up is Pau Gasol, and he is one of my favorite cards in the game right now. Pau Gasol set shot 16 on the quick timing is really nice and just one of those, you know, center power forwards that you love because he can do everything, but is a really good playmaker at the center. And I think people underrate how good it is to have a center that can play make. I just love this Pau Gasol. Uh, next up is Obi Toppin, jump shot 75 and just a really kind of heavy offensive guy, can absolutely get buckets and there's no stopping him once he gets to the paint, but I have noticed he's quite the pup against other big men. Uh, Kyrie Irving is up next, they actually gave Kyrie a bit of a dunk and he's absolutely insane, he's got a good, you know, quick jumper with that Kyrie Irving, he has some of the best dribbling animations of the game, just has one of the lay worst layup packages you'd ever seen in your life. Uh, Josh Smith is up next. You have to add a few badges to make this Josh Smith crazy, but I think once you do, he can honestly be up there in that damn demon. Brick Lopez base with Sniper is just insanely good, and his defense is some of the best I have ever used in 2K and still dunks on literally everybody. Just stupid fun. Uh, next up is Damian Lillard, and Lillard is just one of those guys who just gets buckets. There's few cards, I think, this year that just feel easier to score with than Lillard. Um, yes, he has 6'2 with a 6'7 wingspan, but he does have a bit of defense. His shooting is just absolutely insane. His jumper on quick is crazy, and that dribble style is unreal. I just think Lillard, one of the best pure bucket getters in the game. Uh, Chris Bosh is up next, has that, uh, it's like set shot 14 or something like that. Or not 14, it's uh, set shot 17 or something. It's so awkward that I just kind of forget that it exists, but he's still a good shooter. It can play in the post pretty well, just not really exciting, man. Uh, Jalen Brown at 6'6", one of the best defensive shooting guards I've used in the game. The guy just locks it up and has jump shot 75. On the normal timing, though, it is baited, but Jalen Brown as a just two-way slasher is insane and can still hit a three ball. Gotta give him his flowers. Uh, next is Jamal Murray, and Jamal Murray 
is fun. Like, Jamal Murray is probably one of the most fun cards that I've used from that, like, all-star, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> reward cards. Uh, once you get him evoed up, 6'4", six, 6'7", six, wingspan, the guy can shoot it like crazy, has good defense, he can dunk on everybody, jump shot 80 on the normal timing is pretty good, and that quick dribble style with the IT combo is super fun as well. I just wish his jumper was a little bit faster. Uh, next up is Isaac Bonga, who is a really good card, but I think some people think just because he's tall, that means he's crazy. But Bonga is just nice, man. He's got set shot 14, quick timing. He's a good defender for six, a 6 foot 8 PG. He's a good post guy. He can even finish a bit, and he can shoot it and play make. He just feels a bit clunky when he's actually in your hands. But if you just want a guy who's going to be tall to defend other tall PGs, yeah, he'll be great at that. Um, and last but not least for this page is going to be Grant Hill. Jump shot 1 is pretty tough. But Grant Hill is just a pure slasher. Defender and playmaker is absolutely insane. Just be careful with what shots you're going to be taking out there. Um, and then next up, for the last page of the Baby Dean, we got a few more in here. Longest uh, tier of the list. Uh, we have Dominique Wilkins. Jump shot 8 is a great slasher. Can still shoot it a bit and a decent defender. Um, I just don't think that he's, you know, next level crazy kind of card. But he is damn good. Devin Booker, jump shot four in that normal timing. Again, it's a bit baited, but he does have Hall of Fame clamps, so he can still play good defense, and it's still going to be a great shooter. Uh, Booker is one of my favorite offensive guys this year. Uh, Dennis Robin, the dude just plays the best defense you'll find in the game and literally gets every single board and can dunk in everybody. Just has one of the most baited jumpers in the game. Uh, DeAndre Ayton is one of the best defensive bigs in the game and still has a good, albeit slow, jumper out there and can play in the post pretty well. Just a nice, fun card. Uh, Darius Garland is just a reskin version of Damian Lillard. If you've used Damian Lillard, you've used Darius Garland. They are the same card at this point. Uh, Cam Johnson is up next. Probably one of the new cards that most of you guys don't have too much experience with unless you've done the whole jaw um, grind. But if you haven't got on 2K, you might even know that this Cam Johnson's in the game. But he's a 6'8", stretch forward at this point uh, with jump shot 70 on quick and has the shifty dribble style. Trust me, Cam Johnson's the real deal. Uh, Brandon Ingram, one of the few cards that have jump shot 75 on the quick timing and he's absolutely crazy at it when it comes to getting buckets brandon ingham is crazy but that slasher dribble style and some okay defense will hold him back just a little bit but i still think it'll be fine uh blake griffin one of those weird cards where he has a jumper that you either love it or hate it but still has some good defense can rebound well and obviously it's blake griffin so he's gonna dunk on everybody and uh bam Adebayo gave me uh quite the surprise when i found out that he actually had a really good three-point shot um, and a pretty decent jumper, so some people may not expect it. You can get some wide open threes. So, you know, we love to see that. Uh, but we all know what Bam Adebayo is about. The dude is just really good at everything, but especially just locking down the court and literally dunking at everybody, but still is an 85 shot three with a decent jumper. Eh, I'll take it, man. I will take it. Uh, now we can start off the damn demon tier. Boom, which is starting off with Anthony Davis. We all know what 80 is about. One of the cleanest jumpers in the game. Can still play make, dunking everybody in his defense all across the board. It's just crazy. Andre Karolinko, base 98, and one of the best cards I have ever used defensively. Done. <laughs> Dusted. Uh, Wong Chi Chi has jump shot 28 on the normal timing, which is just such a clean jumper for a center. And the guy has one of the biggest player builds that I have ever seen in my life. Just posterizes everybody. He has easily some of the best defense I've used in the game. And the jumper is just so smooth. Uh, Zach Levine, one of the best offensive guys using the game. I love his dribble style. I love his dribbling in general. And I love the Zach Levine jumper. Dunks and everybody. Shoots it from three great. And is still a good defender. So I just love him as a primary scorer. Uh, Terry is just one of the best cards in the game at this point. He's going to be every single year. He's got the Rudy Gay jumper on quick, the quick dribble style, some of the best dribbling animation in the game, like the D-Rose combo and the uh, Scotty behind the back, and still plays some of the best defense I have ever seen out of an AI. Terry is a god. Uh, Steph Curry, he's just good, man. The Curry slot is still OP. He has some of the best dribbling you could possibly find, and he has one of the best jumpers in the game, and this one can actually play a bit of defense. Like, it's a dub. Uh, Sydney Moncrief, one of the most slept on guards in the game right now. Sydney is so much damn fun. Jump shot 28 on the quick timing, has the quick dribble style, has some of the best defense I've ever used on a PG. He is undersized, but as long as he's not on like Ben Simmons, the dude will be absolutely fine. I've even had uh, Sydney Moncrief lock up um, the man, what is it, Cade for a limited amount of time, which is crazy. Uh, Sean Kemp got the quick dribble style and his jumper on quick with better defense so not only can he dunk on everybody but now he can shoot play make like a guard and dunk on everybody with good defense yeah he's a god uh rip hamilton went from kind of like a three and d cone to one of the best cards you'll possibly find in the game which is kind of crazy uh rip hamilton six 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 nine wingspan is one of the best three and d cards you could possibly find jump shot 40 on quick and the shifty dribble style he's a god uh ray allen Ray Allen jumper on quick, shifty dribble style, crazy good defense, and one of the best 3D cards you'll find in the game while still being able to posterize everybody and be a great primary scorer. He's a god. Ray for Alston, one of the first cards with a Trey Burke jumper on quick, has the quick dribble style, and can literally do everything in the game. 
he's a god. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, and Pascal Siakam, jump shot 75, and just one of those guys who was good at literally everything. He plays good defense. He shoots it pretty well from three, has a beta jumper, but is really good all around. In my opinion, I just like, you know, Pascal Siakam. Um, then we have some damn demon tears over here with... Joe Johnson, not Joe Johnson starting off, Joe Johnson's at the end. Nikola Jokic, sorry, starting off now. This one, I do understand to some will be a Fugues pick, uh, but Jokic, I just like his jumper on quick. I love his playmaking ability. I think he's one of the most unorthodox centers you can have in the game, but in my opinion, was one of the most fun centers I've used in the game, and it was just awesome to see, awesome to have out there. So I'm leaving Jokic up there in that uh, damn demon tear. Next up is Marilis Lucas, probably the best defender that I've used this year in my team. Um, tied with maybe AK. Jump shot 12 is absolutely money. Just basically plays that Draymond Green jumper, but has to shift the dribble style to go along with it. Uh, Marc Gasol, just a really good 3 and D center with jump shot eight or set shot 18 on the quick timing. The only thing that you'll notice with uh, Marc Gasol is that his speed is a little bit low, so it can be a crutch at times, but still a great card. Uh, Larry Bird, in my opinion, one of the cleanest jumpers that you could possibly use in the game. It's absolutely money. And I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, but this Larry Bird plays so much better defense than a Larry Bird card should. Like, I know that he has, you know, good stats and tendencies and all that, but he's just going crazy out there, and I absolutely love it. One of my just favorite cards. Uh, Lance Stevenson has jump shot 107 on the quick timing, one of the best jumpers in the game, and has a shifty dribble style. He's a bit undersized for the two, but he's just crazy good. Uh, LaMelo Ball is up next and Lamelo is just crazy good he's got a nice jumper although it is slightly slow the slash for dribble style and it's just at six foot six one of the best cards you could possibly you know use at that point guard position uh Kawhi Leonard ran on jumper at normal timing he's got a good jumper he's got good defense he's just he's just a good card uh Carl Anthony Towns probably is one of the most beta jumpers in the game but the dude has crazy good defense now he can put people in the post he can finish right over them and he is a great shooter even though that jumper is baited he's still just a good card Joe Johnson, jump shot 38 on quick, shifty dribble style, crazy good defense, and is just one of the most fun cards to use. Iso Joe is still the god this year in my team. Uh, Ying Jiang Liang is a 7-foot power forward with an easy-to-time jumper and jump shot 70. I just don't really think you can go wrong using E in your lineup. He's just fun. He's crazy good. Yeah, just a good card. Uh, Jared Allen, one of the best defensive cards in the game, and they were like, screw it, we're going to give Jared Allen a bit of a three-point shot as well. Like, what is that? 6'11", uh, 7'5", wingspan, and Jared Allen has... Basically, every badge that he has in defense is Hall of Fame besides Clams, which is gold. Has a good jumper and jump shot 31, same one as Sadiq Bey, and can still dunk in everybody. And if you add Sniper, one of the best shooters you can use, give him his dubs. Uh, next up, Galaxy Opal John Morant, who has sadly that Paul George jumper on that normal timing, but does have the quick dribble style and that uh, D-Rose combo, so he's still going to be one of the most fun cards in the game. Once you get him to the basket, he's dunking. Uh, starting off the last tier for the baby demons, or the damn demons, we have... James Harden, again, one of the more unorthodox players in the game, but his James Harden jumper this year is absolutely amazing. He's going to be a good playmaker. He's going to get to the hoop and dunk it. Everybody, I just think that he needs that jumper on quick to really be crazy. Uh, Dwayne Wade, we know the D-Wade jumper is probably one of the best in the game, and he has, although the Sasha dribble style is actually one of the cards that I feel like I don't care that he has it and just still feels super fun. Uh, Derrick Rose has obviously the Derrick Rose dribbling animations and he's absolutely crazy and I'm not even kidding I think Derrick Rose is one of the best shooting green windows I've ever used and literally dunks on everybody he is insanely fun uh, DeMar DeRozan trade break jumper on that normal timing shifty dribble style and once you add a quick first step onto him he's one of the best most fun cards to use in the game Jaron Fox is essentially John Morant like essentially John Morant um, I think Fox is a bit of a better defender if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna uh, just fully compare them for you guys right now um live i guess since but i can't um what is it we got john morant and fox we'll just do that really quick um just so i can tell you the slight differences morant does have better stats but that's you know some stuff like post game is really where it all comes from um aside from that morant's a little bit of a better shooter but fox is a bit of a better playmaker and a bit of a better defender um and both are pretty equal in the slashing so overall both these guys are almost the same card uh, next up is Kazi Russell. Jump shot three on the quick timing is one of the best jumpers in the game, and it's crazy to think that we have a card later on the list that has it on the very quick timing, has a great dribble animations, and it's just good. Kazi Russell, one of my favorite cards. Uh, Carmelo Anthony has his Carmelo jumper on the normal timing and that slasher dribble style, but it's just so fun. His normal two hop, for me at least, is one of the cheesiest, most easy to get open moves in the game, and is just one of the better 3 and D cards. I just love this mellow. It's just super fun to use them. 
Uh, next up is Bull Bull, probably one of the most unguardable cards in the paint and has the Brook Lopez jumper and can stretch it out. At 7 foot 2 power forward, you gotta love it. I just didn't put Bull Bull up into the best of the best because I think that uh, defensively, he's nagging a little bit behind some of the other guys. And then uh, Ben Simmons is a guy who actually can shoot, especially if you use a new like perimeter centric or like pace and space coach boost, but is one of the best, if not the best defensive cards in the game, can dunk on literally everybody and at PG at 6 foot 10. As annoying as it is, he's good. Um, and now we can finish off the last tier where we're starting off in the best of the best with Alex English, who was Carmelo Anthony with the jumper on quick and has, I think, the quicker the shifty dribble style. He's a guy. Throw Bailey, jump shot 22, literally good at everything in the game. Scotty Pippen, jump shot 30 on the quick timing. Some of the best dribbling animations I've ever seen on a card. And the dude locks it up on defense. He's a god. Rudy Gay is essentially this Terry, but absolutely juiced up in everything. So you gotta love him. Reggie Lewis has all the best dribbling animations, all the best defensive badges and tendencies, and has the Kemba Walker jumper on quick, which is money. You love it. Paul George, literally good at everything like there's not really a negative part in his game morris peterson one of my favorite cards ever since he came out in the game six foot seven seven foot wingspan and the guy can just flat out score jump shot 14 on quick which is that it jumper and the shifty dribble style as a six foot seven two guard with a seven foot wingspan he's essentially what t-mac could be right now uh yao ming he's tall and he takes layups over everybody Luga is the most unguardable card in the game with the most unguardable jumper in the game, and they gave him the shifty dribble style with great defense as a six foot seven or six foot eight point guard. Yeah, he's the best PG, if not the best card in the game. Uh, Alonzo Ball, six foot six, best playmaker, best defender in 2K right now. He's just a great PG. Kristaps Porzingis is essentially Bull Bull who doesn't get pupped as much in the paint and is a slightly better just shooter and defender, um, so I gave him the nod. Kobe Bryant has probably one of the best dribble styles I've had on a card, which is crazy, as the uh, Kobe Bryant jumper on normal, which is a bit baited, is, you know, slightly slow, uh, but his defense is crazy, his playmaking is crazy, and he's just an all-around amazing defender. Um, and then we can continue it on in the damn demon tier with Klay Thompson and Klay Thompson. I just didn't feel like there was much of a difference between these two. They're both some of the best, you know, 3 and D cards in the entire game, and they have just crazy good dribbling animations. These guys are just fun to use. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is essentially Ray Allen with defense. He has the Kawhi Leonard jumper, which obviously isn't as crazy, but with the Ray Allen jumper on quick and the defense that Kawhi has, he's nothing other than these top two tiers. Uh, Karl Malone, we don't want to give Karl Malone too much premium gas, but they gave him the shifty dribble style. They gave him his jumper on quick and just juiced up everything about the guard. He's crazy good. Uh, Joel Embiid is up there in conversation to be the best center in the game. Jump shot 47, really good defense, really good post game, and honestly, I think even on the normal timing, his jumper is money, so I'm going to give him his dubs. Jason Tatum may be the best cone in the entire game. Jump shot 107 on quick, crazy good defense. I can still dunk it. I just don't think you're doing anything too crazy with the ball in your hands. But the way that I've seen these people just chuck at the Tatum and take whatever the hell they want and it go in, I got to throw them up there. Uh, Dark Matter John Morant, who is John Morant, but they gave him his jumper on quick, made his defense better, and made his shooting better. So obviously he's in best of the best. Uh, next up is Jalen Rose, a 6 foot 8 PG that has the quick dribble style and is just an all around really damn good guard, like period. Um, next up is Akeem Olajuwon, who is actually this Marcus Saul, but he's 10 better in speed, speed with ball, and acceleration. So I just decided that I kind of had to give um, Hakeem the nod up above Marcus Saul because essentially the same card, but Hakeem is just better and faster. Uh, Giannis is essentially similar to Throw Bailey. We got um, the Giannis jumper on quick. Literally, can nobody can score on Giannis, and then he can dunk and finish over everybody. He's a good playmaker as well, just getting his dubs. Gary Payton, best defender in the entire game at the PG position, aside from maybe Sidney Moncrief. But the jumper is baited. Uh, Kevin Garnett, probably one of the best defenders that I have ever seen in 2K, especially as a power forward position. He's also a great post guy, just a super versatile defender that can shoot it with a jumper on quick now. KG is actually a menace to go against. And then... Only a few more, only a few more out here. We have Evan Mobley, who is a seven foot demon on the defensive end, who has a damn good jumper. So all around is actually a super fun card. Um, I will say sometimes the jumper can be pretty easily baited, but I do think he's super fun and just a good card in the game. Uh, Dwight Howard is an actual glitch in my team. I'm not even kidding. When the pink diamond came out, I found him to be one of the hardest cards to score on in the game like just literally was blocking everything and then we have on top of that the fact that he guys a jumper on quick and can shoot it from three now with the opal coach boosts in the game dwight is crazy uh demarcus cousins set shot 18 on quick shifty dribble style and can do literally whatever he wants can be a bit of a pup on defense but it's still great 
Uh, David Robinson has one of the best jumpers in the game. They gave it to him on quick, can literally guard anybody, can play in the post. David Robinson is just good. Uh, Clyde Drexler, a surprise to have him uh, this early in the game, but Clyde the Glide is a damn god. <laughs> like, he is a 6'7 shooting guard that now can play PG for some reason with a 6'10 wingspan, and he has some of the most Hall of Fame badges in the game. Jump shot 5 is on quick, and the quick dribble style with the D Wade combo. Now, I will say, a jump shot 5 can be annoying because it pulls you closer to your vendors. But I think it'll be fine uh, with Clyde, given how good he is at literally everything else. Uh, next up is Cincinnati Powell. I'm going to go with that. 6'7", 6'10", wingspan. As the Dante Exum jumper on quick, the shifty dribble style, Kyrie Irving dribbling animations, and the long out the layup package. This Powell may be the best card in the game, and it's annoying. Uh, Chris Mullen, they decided to go from a pink diamond who had the jumper on normal to a pink uh, dark matter that has jump shot 22 on very quick with some of the best dribbling in the entire game that can curry slide and has the Scotty behind the back and is going to be one of the best 3 and D cards in the game. The only thing that he's not insane at is dunking and he's still damn good at it too. Um, next up is Cedric Maxwell, who I honestly think is the best card in the game. He's 6 foot 8. 7-1 wingspan, has jump shot 3 on very quick, which is the fastest jumper in the entire game right now. Uh, dribble style is quick and just good defense or dribbling animations long at the layup package crazy good defensively this guy is the best card in the game and last but not least in my opinion is the best pg in the game in Cade cunningham jump shot 80 is great shifty dribble style is amazing and at six foot eight he's just one of the best defenders and just players in general he's currently my starting pg and i honestly absolutely love the card so uh that wraps it up for our best cards tier list make sure you check out page one page two and page three there's a over almost 150 cards ranked on this list so just make sure you check out all three pages on the list i'll just keep going through them like this if you guys did enjoy the video with the like button down below i also will link in the description down below all of the individual you know positions here so you guys can check out how they're ranking there all around has been fun so like the video subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video